Your job as a husband is to lead your wife. Lead her through the Holy Spirit of God, not the flesh, not sinful flesh. She needs to learn God's word. She needs to see examples that you set of Jesus Christ being the fruits within that are produced in your life. She needs to see your faith when times are tough. She needs to see you worshiping and praising the Lord. She needs to see you in God's word, learning and growing, feeding your spirit. God is the head. God the Father is the head of Jesus. And Jesus is the head of our marriage. And the man is the head of the wife. So the man has to set the example for the wife to follow. That's our job. If you allow the enemy to get you into your flesh, you're leading your wife into the flesh as well. Because she's going to see an example set from you that is from the flesh. And she's going to be like, oh, if he's doing it, I could do it. And that is not the example you want to set. You want to set the example of trusting in the Lord, of praying and having a prayer life, of reading God's word and continually engaging with God, fasting together as a married couple, and just giving your life, giving all to God, making him first, not just as people say with words, but showing with actions throughout your life and how you live. Then you will start to see that sin will diminish in your life, that the enemy will tempt you and you'll resist him and he'll have to flee, as scripture says, because you'll be feeding your spirit more. So you'll be growing stronger in relationship with God through obedience. God bless.